FNN. Headline News Update. Folks, we have the Dow Industrial trading up 242, NASDAQ up 44, S&P's up 27. Gold, gold contract down $8.60, trading at 16 55 an ounce. We have silver down 11 cents, $18.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 283, $82.63 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10-year note up five ticks, trading at a price point of 110.28. The 30-year up five at 123.14, and you are still at 3.996 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 93 ticks, trading 112, 133. Euros at 98. Yen is out here at 149.20, and the British pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. High volatility out here today, folks, and you know, the way I'm looking at this market, it's pretty cool how it keeps going back down and coming back. And what I mean specifically by that, my, my take is this is a counter trend bounce, but this is gonna be a beauty, man, because the way this market has traded the last three days, that's what br really brings in solid bottoms. So, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. My take is that it's still a counter trend bounce, but I expect you're gonna bounce quite a bit out here, man. The SPY right now, you're up 220. You're at uh, 369. The swing it's going after there is uh, 379. That'll probably get blown away tomorrow. We take a look at the NDX 100, which, uh, you know, has been struggling back and forth and gave it up first. What Did a 50% retracement on the way up. Apple come up, came back down again. Guess what? This one's higher price, man. So we'll see where it shakes out. The swing here yeah, right now at 269, 284 is game. And I expect this thing is probably going to try to get up to somewhere about 311. So it's going to be wild. And it's going to all be all about this right here, the U.S. dollar. That's the bottom line. Right now, it's flat out here. Well, it's up 101 ticks, but that's flat. You got a little doge in the middle. That's telling me that this... U.S. dollar you know, index wants to get out of the 110.05, which is going to give it a huge amount of breathing room. And then if we go over to the gold market, this is kind of a tell also. What's going on is that you have gold down again, right? But yet, and we know inside the GDX, you have Newmont, Barrick, Royal Gold, and Franco Nevada all the weakest. And guess what? It's not down. It's up seven pennies. Not that that's a lot. It's not. But the bottom line is that... There's buying out here, folks, and I suspect the buying is going to continue, and, you know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. After the close out here, we're going to have Netflix. The market's going to be looking what Netflix is going to do. That's an equity that absolutely has got toasted and roasted. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.